Yo, what's up guys? I thought I'd do a little test. I've got my aggressors to level 20 now. My devouts have all been level 20 for a long time. The question is in my brain, which is the best farming unit? So I've got a tune of four, I think it's four. Let me double check that actually. Yeah, four aggressors and four devouts. And I'm gonna hit a four uh, medals base, three. And then I'm gonna hit a Valkyrie 30 with either tone. Set in the back, see what's got the least repair time. So I'm gonna start off with the aggressors. And we'll we whack this base and see what happens. I'm just going to leave them on Ruby. I'm not going to control them at all. So let's zoom in and see how it goes. Ruby on. Got to be careful they don't get stuck. Some of the units get stuck when you put them on Ruby, yeah? Sometimes you have to click just, just a little bit away from them. But this would be a good test, I think. I have got these as, from what I think is the best tech. They're not fully, the tech isn't fully upgraded, but... Yeah, we, we'll soon find out. Again, I don't like that they don't target that air site. Oh, there they did there. One did at least. And then, obviously, I'm going to take this up to the 30, the Thorium 30 uh, IV. And then we'll bash that one. We'll see how. I, I won't send it home. I'll do the devouts, do the same thing, both bases, send them both home at the same time, see which one's got less repair. And I'm not Sentinels and I'm not Survivors, so they're not getting no faction buff or anything like that. Um, while we wait for a Corpus Infantry, which it feels like we've been waiting for the best part of a year to get a Corpus Infantry, I've, I've got a funny feeling, I've got a sneaking feeling that they're going to give us one in this Series 1 uh, of units, so th th there's a limit on how many we can build. Uh, that's what I think they're going to do with a corpus unit because it is going to be a spam unit because of the uh, the faction buff which is you can only take 15% maximum of any one projectile which people just spam the crap out of bases with like the pendants are what, what people are using with the pendants now so I'm going to guess the corpus infantry is going to be a, fa a series one not a generation four love to know your thoughts what, what would you like to see bought into a corpus fa uh, infantry unit uh, I hope it ain't fucking plasma again or the what the Helios has got basically what the Dracon had I'd prefer it to be something different but this kicks I were talking about so who knows these are actually holding up pretty well I'm surprised these might be my new farming unit and uh, that's that done They've got such good range. I think they've got 600 range with the tech. So there's 40,000 medals. Let's go up and get the four in with them quick. I know this is a bit of a long-winded video, guys. And I'm finding it hard to talk all the way through it. But it, the testing makes sense to me. I, I, if I want to know something, I'm guessing other people would like to know as well. Right, let's go straight in business. And we'll let it kill it. Did I put... I don't know if I put it's electric on. No, uh... No, I didn't. So, um, so neither neither t uh, platoon's gonna have it's electric on. He's dead. He's gonna get a shot off. Two, yeah, two shots. Yeah, I'd like to see something. I don't know. Uh, are they gonna remake the Spartans? I really don't know. With the corpus, it's a. Uh, how we haven't seen a corpus. Uh, Infantry yet is beyond me. We've seen two, two is it two sets of uh, sentinels? I'll have to check when we get into the base. I think it's two. It's either two or three sentinels, and then we've seen one survivors. Gen four. Nothing on the corpus front though. But again, let's hope. Let's hope kicks like change, and we do eventually see a. These are holding up really well. I'm quite surprised. I don't want to push anything. I want to spread them out. See if any of the others have took much damage. But that would be me cheating the uh, test. Here we go. We're nearly done. A few more buildings. One more. They kill everything pretty quick. Right. That's that one done. I won't send them home yet. I'll go straight to the devouts. We can get rid of that one and my devouts are here. And we'll do the same thing, just ruby straight on. They're all rubied, so that's good. They move a lot quicker, the devouts, I have noticed that. 
I don't think I've maxed the techs out on one of, on the aggressors. I think the bronzes tech is only. I'll have to check when we get in. We will t check the techs. I will show you them. This is the good thing about the devouts, they fire so quick. The aggressor's a little bit slower, but we can. Uh, but the range is different, completely different. I think it's 50 or 100, di 100 range difference. Oh, I hate it that they don't target. There it is, they've targeted that air silo eventually after walking past it 30 times. And another question I've got for you guys, if you let me know in the description or the comment section below. Have you noticed F is fucking broke? If you use fist, uh, this one, fire at will, it just seems to want to, the, the units seem to want to run right into the centre of a base. They're not actually targeting what's targeting them, they just, they're all over the place at the minute with the FK. The FK used to be a very, very good, good way of uh, killing bases, but Kicks I have changed that where they... They either make one unit in the base really high priority, so it'd be right in the centre or right at the back of the base, so the, the units charge through towards that unit. It's uh, strange, to, never, to say the least. Even Ruby can be funny sometimes. It can be like, just do what it wants. Hopefully they don't run after that. Yep, they're going to... It's okay. See, I haven't clicked nothing. Same thing again. It looks like I took a little bit more damage on that one that went off on his own. And uh, these have got busted status and all, so they kill the bunkers without anything popping out. As I say, I've tried to use the best tech I can. And that should be that base done. Let's go up and get hit the... The Thorium 30. Get rid of that star. I know this is a bit boring guys but a test to test and I, I just wanted to know which one's best for farming without being actually on their faction. I know the devouts are less repair time I think the devouts are at 10 minutes and the aggressors are about 15 from dead I think. Oh shit I clicked. Fuck. Come on. Right okay we'll take a little bit of repair time off them. I accidentally clicked there. We take tw 20 seconds off, roughly. Fuck the test up already, guys. Bollocks. Right. There we go. Should be fucking finishing in your sock. What are they shooting at that's not dying? Fucking little... Look, things are targeting. They're meant to aggress to things that target them. Right, turrets are shooting at them, and they're, they're just they're just taking the shots and killing stuff that don't mean anything. Drives me up the wall. Kicks hard. Change the rules on their fucking own game. They have took quite a bit of damage there. I'm going to take about 20 seconds off for that that mistake I made on the devouts. Another test I might do is I might see how good four, four of these do. Right, okay, so the aggressors are 1 minute 43 for the two bases. Devouts are ooh, 5 minutes 56 for the two bases. So aggressors win. Even if I took two minutes off, they're still, they're still uh, two minutes more repair than the aggressors. Wow, I would never have thought that. Uh, I will run you through the techs for each one. I think me, me aggressors ain't maxed out on their, their techs. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to, as I say, I'm going to have to check. Yeah, level 3. So I need to level them up, th that up. But they are le max level on the range and the 20% to uniques, which is probably not the one I want. I probably want this one upgraded. As I say, I've been slacking with the aggressors. They're not be my cup of tea but I've now changed my mind they're going to be my farming go to farm unit for when I'm doing metal, a metal run four rim runs and things like that so keep an eye out for a few more videos guys take care thumbs up sorry thumbs up if you like the video thumbs down if you don't if you do just like the videos and you're considering subscribing there's a little bell button next to the subscribe button 
hit that and you will get a, a little pop up at the top right corner every time I upload a video it will show that I've uploaded a new video take care all peace out